Hello, food enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel, where today we're diving into the fascinating world of food dehydration. Whether you're looking to preserve that vibrant summer harvest or simply stock up for the winter months, dehydration is a fantastic way to extend the shelf life of your favorite foods while retaining their nutritional goodness. Let's get started. Dehydration is a time-tested method that removes moisture from food, preventing the growth of bacteria and mold. This not only prolongs the shelf life, but also locks in flavors and nutrients. You might be wondering, what are the best methods for dehydrating food? Well, let's explore a few. First up, we have the electric dehydrator. It's efficient and allows for precise temperature control, which is crucial for different types of foods. Most fruits and vegetables dehydrate beautifully at around 125 degrees Fahrenheit to 135 degrees Fahrenheit, while meats require a bit higher, around 145 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, there's oven drying, which is a great alternative if you don't own a dehydrator. Set your oven to its lowest setting, ideally around 140 degrees Fahrenheit, and leave the oven door slightly ajar to allow moisture to escape. Just remember to check periodically, as ovens can vary in temperature. And for those who love utilizing natural resources, sun drying is another option. This works best in hot, dry climates. Simply lay your food on screens or racks, cover with a fine mesh to keep insects at bay, and let the sun do its magic. Some top picks for dehydration include apples, bananas, tomatoes, and even herbs. For a delightful snack, try making homemade beef jerky. Remember, the key factors are temperature and duration. For example, apples can take about eight to 12 hours, while meats might need four to eight hours. Once your food is perfectly dried, proper storage is essential. Vacuum sealing is a great way to keep the dehydrated food fresh. Alternatively, use airtight containers to prevent moisture re-entry. Stored correctly, dehydrated fruits can last up to a year, while meats should be used within six months. I remember the first time I dehydrated mango slices. It was a learning curve, but the reward was a jar of tangy, sweet bites that lasted me through winter. There's something incredibly satisfying about preserving your own food. A quick note on safety. Always start with clean hands and sanitized equipment. Avoid over-drying, as it can lead to nutrient loss and overly brittle textures. To wrap up, we've covered the essentials of food dehydration, from methods and tools to storage tips and safety precautions. Dehydration is not just about preservation, it's a journey of flavor and nutrition empowerment. For more in-depth resources and guides, check out the links in the description below. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more kitchen adventures, and drop any questions you have in the comments. Enjoy your dehydration journey, everyone. Until next time, keep those kitchens buzzing with creativity.